The message from Sri Lanka's foreign minister was clear. Addressing the UN in Geneva, he laid out the reasons for abandoning a mechanism meant to investigate allegations of war crimes. The resolution seeks to cast upon Sri Lanka obligations that cannot be carried out within its constitutional framework and it infringes the sovereignty of people of Sri Lanka, while it's the basic structure of the constitution. After the violent end to Sri Lanka's 26-year conflict between government forces and the Tamil Tigers in 2009, both sides were accused of war crimes. The government of then-President Mahinda Rajapaksa denied any wrongdoing. He was defeated in the 2015 elections. The man who replaced him, Maitripala Sirisena, promised to investigate the allegations and co-sponsored a UN resolution. It was aimed at promoting accountability, reconciliation and human rights to help Sri Lanka recover from the wounds of war. But another election in November last year brought Mahinda's brother, Gotabe Rajapaksa, to the presidency. Power shifted once again. And with it, Sri Lanka's approach to its unresolved post-conflict issues. Foreign Minister Gunawardena says the government will appoint a commission of inquiry to review the previous inquiries, assess the outcomes and propose a way forward. That doesn't inspire confidence in some human rights activists. This is just another excuse to delay justice, to delay addressing genuine grievances of the victims. So I think we need to keep pressure, we need to keep watch in terms of what's being proposed by the government. We need to actually give them a chance to respond. But never forget that in the past there were very serious allegations. Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa has described the previous government's decision to co-sponsor the resolution as the greatest betrayal. He says it paves the way for action against Sri Lankan armed forces, like the United States' recent travel ban against the army chief. But for families waiting for answers, the resolution provided hope. Withdrawing from the UN resolution is a problem for families of the victims. Any hope they had of justice and fairness for the past 11 years has been shattered. Seniviratna represents 11 families who are accusing naval personnel of abducting and killing their sons or husbands in 2009. The group included Tamil, Muslim and Sinhalese victims. Even the son of a military officer was among them. Minerva Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.